The Blue Yet has got a great design and it comes with its own integrated metal stand, which unfortunately transmits all vibrations. I was quite reluctant to put in a boom arm and buy a shock mount, partly because I don't think it looks good, partly because it would be very expensive, but mainly because I really do not want anything more cumbersome than this on my desk. But I still had to do something because ultimately the spongy padding underneath the base really does nothing to dampen vibrations and bump to the table. So I did a little bit of research online and found that to isolate sensitive hardware like turntables, audio equipment and scientific tools, people recommend a Serbothain. Serbothane comes in many shapes and densities, adapted to the weight and kind of equipment, and it needs to be compressed a little to be effective in dampening vibrations. I bought these small hemispheres on Amazon for £5.80 because they are recommended as the best option for something of the shape and weight of the Blue Yeti. They're quite tacky and they will stick on my glass table by themselves, but in the box they also give you some adhesive patches if you wanted to stick them to a permanent location. So we're going to test the setup, tapping on a regular keyboard and recording on Audacity. So first without the servo thing. So you could see uh, tapping softly and hardly on the keyboard, that quite a bit of the vibration was actually transmitted into the microphone. Now we're going to place instead the Serbothane Hemisphere underneath the base of the Blue Yeti to then test it again, tapping softly and hardly on the keyboard, nicely spaced, so we can make sure that it is nice and springy on them and we can test how much of the vibration the Serbothane filters out. So if we compare the tracks, even visually, on Audacity, you can see the spikes of noise that without the Serbothane, the microphone picks up, while the trace with Serbothane is much flatter and the spikes much less pronounced, just to show that the microphone just picks up the noise rather than the vibration transmitted through the table. So is it worth it? Does it work? What do you think? I think it does a good job, but do please let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this setup and if you have any ideas to improve it. I'll keep experimenting with it. Thank you for watching.